Sarah Palin's husband has filed for divorce after more than 30 years of marriage. Todd Palin submitted the paperwork on Friday. NBC News reports they are citing incompatibility of temperament as a reason, adding they find it impossible to live together as husband and wife. The couple married in 1988 and he was by her side when she was elected governor of Alaska and when she was a vice presidential hopeful alongside John McCain. They later went on to star in their own reality show on TLC. He's asking for joint custody of their 11 year old son Trig and they have four other children together who are now adults. Yeah, remember when she was uh, voted first of the governor of Alaska, he called himself the first dude. You know, there's first lady, first, mm -hmm. he called himself the first dude. But I think one of the worst things that ever happened to her was her being nominated to be the vice president on John McCain's ticket because it brought her and her life and her hypocrisy into the light. We're talking domestic violence with the young son. We're talking the young son beating up the father. We're talking about the kid having a, a, a baby out of wedlock as a teenager. Like those sort of things and went, which Sarah Palin was constantly trying to preach, being that socially conservative voice that she was, always attacking President Obama, always attacking uh, celebrities in Hollywood, with trying to use that conservative voice, backfired because she is in the spotlight now. I don't want to see anyone go through the divorce, but Sometimes you got what you, you got what you got coming. Yeah, see, I don't want to see anyone go through a divorce either, but I don't even think it's that deep. I think that <laughs> uh, first dude was sick of being in the back seat and Ooh. over her antics, and since she's no longer on top, he said peace. Uh, I'll take that. <laughs> that's just how I feel. <laughs>